It's been a few months since the last settings video, and since then, I've further optimized my settings for better performance, and Modern Warfare and Warzone has added new settings to the game that we're going to be going through. But if you do have any questions about anything I talk about in this video, I do stream Monday through Friday mornings on Twitch, link is in the description, and let's just get into the best settings for Season 6. Okay, so first things first, if you do have an NVIDIA graphics card, make sure you update your drivers, otherwise some of these new settings that are in the game won't be available to you. And if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, just go to the timestamp that's somewhere up here on the screen and we'll go from there. Now, once your drivers are installed, just right click your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. And once that loads up, you'll see in the top left here, adjust image settings with preview. So click that. And then you're gonna use the third checkbox here to unlock this bar. And you're gonna wanna drag it all the way down to performance. And then you're gonna wanna click apply. And that's all we have to do here. And then after that, we're gonna go to the in-game settings. All right, so now that we got the game loaded up, first thing you're gonna see is display mode. I would recommend playing in full screen. I know a lot of people like to play in full screen borderless because they like to tab out and do things on their other monitor while they're in game or spectating their teammates or whatever. But in my experience with full screen borderless, I've noticed a little bit of input lag and this is why I play on full screen no matter what game I'm playing. But if you don't notice any input delay and you really like tabbing out and stuff all the time, then by all means play full screen borderless, but I would recommend full screen. And then after that, go down to screen refresh rate and make sure this is set to whatever the refresh rate of your monitor is. You don't want to be playing on a 240 hertz monitor with this set to 60 for obvious reasons. And then under that we have render resolution and make sure this is set to 100. And just a little heads up, sometimes when you open the game, this is set all the way down to 66 for some reason. So if your game's looking like complete crap and you don't know why, that's most likely the reason. So just double check this when you open your game and make sure it's set at 100. And then going down a little bit, you're gonna see sync every frame, otherwise known as V-Sync, and you're gonna wanna make sure that's disabled. Underneath that, you'll see custom frame rate limit, and you'll wanna set this to custom and then you'll wanna click this advanced tab here. You'll see gameplay custom frame rate limit here, and for most people, you'll wanna turn this all the way up. But if you have a G-Sync or a G-Sync compatible monitor, you'll wanna set your frame rate to three below whatever the maximum refresh rate of your monitor is. For example, I have a 240 hertz monitor, so I set mine to 237. If you have a 144 hertz monitor, you might want to set it to 141. And the reason for doing this is because, say for example, you're playing on a 144 hertz monitor and you're getting like 148 frames in game and then it's going down to like 135 and it's fluctuating up and down. Now what's happening is when you're getting above 144 FPS, your G-Sync is turning off. And then when you're getting below 144 FPS, your G-Sync is turning on. So when your frames are fluctuating like that, your G-Sync is gonna be turning off and on and off and on, and that's gonna be causing a little bit of input lag. So that's why you wanna cap your frame rate limit three below whatever the refresh rate of your monitor is. Only if you have a G-Sync monitor though. And then after that, I have both of these set to 60 because when I'm just in the menus and everything, I don't need a bunch of frames. So just, I cap them at 60. And then under that, you got NVIDIA highlights, which I would disable. Otherwise, NVIDIA is gonna be recording just random double kills and stuff. And you don't really want that. It's just gonna take up a bunch of space on your computer. And under NVIDIA highlights, we have a new setting called NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. And I would recommend turning this all the way up to enabled plus boost. And this is going to give you lower latency as well as boost your GPU frequency when you're in CPU bound cases, as it says right here. And a lot of times when you're playing on lower settings, you're more CPU bound rather than GPU bound. So having this on enabled plus boost is a good option. Now scrolling down to texture resolution, I now have this set to low. I used to play with it on normal, but I've played with the difference between low and normal and the game doesn't look any different and it boosts your frames by a few. And texture filter anisotropic, I also changed this to low. I used to have this on high, but I've noticed on low I get a few more frames and 
I've also noticed that some textures and like the ground looks a little more like meshed together and muddy, which makes it easier to see people. And I honestly just prefer that look. If you don't like how that looks, I would recommend putting that up to normal. And underneath that, we have particle quality, which I would set to high. For whatever reason, setting this to high gives you more frames than having it set to low. So I would definitely put this on high. It looks better and gives you more frames. Underneath that, we got bullet impacts and sprays, which I would enable. I like to see where I'm shooting at on the wall and stuff, even though I don't ever really look at the wall to see where I'm shooting. It's just one of those things I like to have enabled and it doesn't affect your frames at all. So I'd recommend turning it on. And under that, we have tessellation, which I would disable. And under that, we have another new setting we haven't gone over, which is called on-demand texture streaming. I don't know how long ago they added added this setting but I was looking through settings and I noticed this was turned on and then I read the description and it turns out they're downloading textures to your hard drive while you're playing the game because it provides more color detail and that's definitely not helping performance so definitely disable that and underneath that is another new setting called streaming quality and again I would recommend putting this on low and scrolling down a bit we got shadow map resolution which I set to low shadows on low boost your frame a lot but then again the shadows don't really look the best so if you want some good looking shadows you could turn this up to normal but just keep in mind you're going to be losing a good amount of frames by doing so and then we got cash spot shadows and cash sun shadows i would recommend enabling both of these it's basically speeding up the rendering of future frames by storing like cache in your ram so i would definitely enable this unless you have like four gigabytes of ram which if you have four gigabytes of ram you probably are not able to run this game so definitely enable those underneath that we got particle lighting which again is set to low and then under that we got direct x ray tracing which again is set to low ray tracing looks pretty but it's gonna make you lose a lot of frames so disabling this boosts your performance a lot and then ambient occlusion and screen space reflection under that are both disabled again now scrolling down to the bottom we have anti-aliasing which again i have turned off so if you're kind of noticing like jagged edges in your game with this turned off that's anti-aliasing and if you don't like that, you could turn this up to like the 1X or the T2X. But keep in mind by upping the setting, it's going to degrade your performance a lot. So that's why I recommend turning it off. And then underneath that, we got depth of field, which again is disabled. This is going to help improve your visibility. And then filmic strength, you want this turned all the way up because if you have your anti-aliasing set to the 1X or the T2X, you're going to get some visual noise if you have this turned all the way off. So you want this turned all the way up for the best possible clarity. And and this isn't going to affect your frames at all. So all the way up. And then under that, we got world motion blur and weapon motion blur. Never in any game you're playing have motion blur turned on. So definitely disable these. And then underneath that, we got film grain, which you don't want extra visual noise added to your game. So definitely have this turned all the way off. And I know there's going to be some people in the comments saying, oh, all you did was turn your settings all the way down. Well, yeah, we turned most of them all the way down or too low because the point of this video is to maximize the amount of frames you're getting and visibility and making the game look pretty isn't going to do that. So if you want to make your game look pretty, you're on the wrong video, if I'm being honest with you. And the rest of the video is for people who are always asking for like, my settings and stuff so i do play on 400 dpi and i play on six cents in game and going over to general i play on 105 field of view i used to play on 120 but i lowered this back down to 105 which is what i used to play because I was having trouble spotting some enemies in the distance and I can see people a lot easier now that are kind of farther out and I've noticed I'm playing a lot better ever since I switched back to this and I am now back to independent ADS field of view again for the same reason I was having trouble just seeing what I was shooting at that is why I'm back on independent and a lower FOV and then my brightness is set to 55 and then my audio I am playing on boost low and the volume is set to 40 and I have music turned all the way off and I believe those are all the settings so if you do have any questions like I said earlier I do stream Monday through Friday mornings over on Twitch so if you need some help link is in the description I can do my best to help you out and if this video did help you which I really hope it did please consider subscribing and dropping a like it really helps me out and I'd really appreciate it and here's the web
Peace.